Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can split your 3D files into pieces in order to make them better fit your build plate so that you can print them at the scale that you want. And this is based off an experience that I had recently when I wanted to print this really awesome cable sculpture from Wicked. And I'm gonna show you the problem that I had and then I'm gonna so show you the solution. Now, this solution is only gonna be for people who have Windows-based PCs because we're gonna be using a Windows program in order to do that, but it's also completely free and that is the best part. All right, so first let me show you the problem and then I'll show you the solution. So here is the top half of Cable's body and I imported him into Chi2 box. That's the slicer that I'm going to be using. And right now he is scaled to 100%, but I didn't want him to be at 100%. So I decided to scale him down to just 50%. And when I do that, you see that there is plenty of space left on the build plate to add supports and maybe even another object, but it's more than enough room for him. So I started printing him like this and I printed his legs and then I queued up a file to print his arms with the weapons attached. But the problem started happening once I got to the base. So I threw in the base here and this is the full base at 100%. You see how absolutely massive this base is, but it's no problem, right? Scale it down to 50% just like all the other pieces. But when I do that, it's still too big, way too big. And no amount of manipulation and tilting is going to make this guy fit on this build plate. So I would have to keep scaling it further and further down. Even at 40%, it's starting to look a little bit better, but still not quite good enough. And we still have to add supports, but you can't have a base that's like 35% to scale. And then a figure that's 50%, it won't look right. The pieces won't fit together. So I needed to figure out a way to split this base in half and then print those pieces separately. And that's where Microsoft 3D Builder comes into play. 3D Builder is a free app in the Microsoft Store. It is a Microsoft app, so you can just search for it, Google it, Bing it, whatever you want to do, and then install this app. And the best part about it is, is that you don't have to pay for this feature, unlike in Chi2 Box, where you do have to pay in order to get the ability to split models apart. So this is what you have to do. First, you go to Open, Load Object, and then find the file that you need to use. So once the file loads in, you can see it right here. Now this is the original 100% scale that is impossible to fit on my build plate. So what we need to do is split this in half. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna check that the model is imported. I'm gonna to go to edit right up here at the top. Well, first you need to select it, then go to edit and then go to split right here. And when you go to split, you see this green square. Now this green square is indicating where it's going to cut the model in half. And right now it wants to cut it um, right across, you know, like this horizontally. I want it to be cut vertically. And you can do that by just grabbing these little arrows here and just kind of bringing it down. I wish it was smoother, but unfortunately it is not. But you can just sort of rotate around and you can also choose whether you wanna keep the top part of it, if you wanna keep the bottom part of it, or if you want to keep both. We want to keep both because we're just splitting it in half. And when you select that, you see the entire model. So you just sort of scroll around the model here and then just try your best to orientate it properly. So I try to get this to be as straight up as I can. See, like sort of like that. And then you just sort of control where you want that split to be. And then you can also click and hold on this green square and you can just sort of drag it where you want it to be on the model. And like I said, it's not the smoothest operation. You just sort of have to take your time with it. But you can see here, you can kind of move it up and down. 
Now with this particular base here, the trick is getting it to be split in a way where it can be as clean of a split as possible because there's a lot of like rocks and debris and things that are just really kind of loose. So we're just gonna try to cut this in a place where hopefully it can be as clean as possible. So we're just gonna try to cut it right here. And as you can see, this is where the cut is going to take place. So it's gonna separate these into two different models. So I'm gonna click split up here on the upper left and it's going to slice the object. It's only gonna take a handful of seconds. All right, it's all done. And then we can click on each individual piece and we can pull those apart. You see that? Now this is a relatively, this is a pretty clean cut, I do have to say. So now at this point, we can export these separately. But here's the thing, if you try to export this file as it is now, when you open it back up in your slicing software, both of these pieces are going to be there. Even though they're technically separated, the file itself contains both of them. And we don't want that to happen. We want to import these separately. So what you do is you choose one, like the one that I have over here, and then you can just simply go over to object, hit copy, and then delete it. Then you're left with just one file. So you can click on this, and then from here, you can click on these th on the menu button, those three uh, lines there. You can hit save as, and you can't see the window, the window that's popping up right now, but you save the file, and you save the file as an STL file. So it gives you that drop down, and then you can save it. Name it something like part one or base one or whatever is easy for you to remember. Then when you're done with that, you come back to this program here and then you just simply go to paste. It'll bring back the object that you originally deleted and then you can delete the one that you've already saved. Make sure that it's the only one highlighted. You can delete the one that you've already saved and then you can just simply go to this one and then you can save this one as a separate file such as base part two or part two or whatever it is that you want to name it. Now that you have all of those saved, you can go back into your slicing software, which in my case is Chi2Box. So now that I'm back in Chi2Box, I can take my first part of the base and import it. And as you can see, it is still at 100% scale. And all I have to do is just knock it down to 50 where I want it to be. And now everything fits on this build plate. It is almost a perfect fit on this build plate. Now the only little tiny imperfection is this one little floating rock piece here, which won't really be a problem because once we add supports, that little rock piece will be supported. So now that we've got this piece on here, you can hollow it out if you want, or if you just want to get right into it, we're just going to set it up for supports. So we're just going to give this like a little bit of a tilt there. Go over to our supports. I use auto supports and I just leave everything by default and it has treated me well. So I just make sure that everything is supported right there. And as you can see, that little rock right there that was floating has gotten its own little support. And now we have all of the other supports right there at the bottom. And at this point, you can just slice this and then take it over to your printer and print it out. Now that's for the very first part. Now let's take a look at the second part. So this is the second part of the base that I'm gonna bring in right now. Again, ridiculously massive, 100%. Let's scale it down to 50%. It fits the build plate nice and snugly. And let's just do our little adjustments here. So let's just give this a bit of a tilt like this. And you can see we are in the red, but that's okay. We just gotta drag it, whoops. We just gotta drag it a little bit more. So let's go to move here. We're gonna drag this back a little bit more. It still has its tilt. Go over here, all. And now it's gonna throw those supports down. And then you can take a look at it, see if it's to your liking. See, we got a little bit of red over there, so that's okay. We just gotta move it up a little bit. And now from there, we see that everything fits just fine. And you can slice this file, go ahead and print it out. And as you can see, I got the two printed pieces right here. And all I have to do is just put some glue on them, put them together, 
put cable on top and I've got myself a complete base at 50% scale by splitting them apart, something that I would not have been able to do otherwise. So that's it you guys, that's how you can take a 3D print and cut it into pieces so that it will more easily fit your build plate so you can print them at the scale that you want. I hope you found this video useful and if you wanna see more 3D printing related videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I am always tinkering around and there's gonna be more coming. So thank you all so much for watching Figure Feedback and until next time, I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you soon.